It's time now for a little latest in local news and the news. The Wayne County Board of Education has a call board meeting set for this Friday at 8 a.m. Only item on the agenda is personnel as the board will meet and decide how to proceed in searching for its next school superintendent. We could go Friday. The board voted 5 0 to part ways and end employment of Dr. Kelly. Board and Superintendent agreeing to a buyout as the former superintendent received. $166,997.25 in 12 equal installments beginning next month. Total agreed upon is this salary of $149,500 a year plus 25 days of unused vacation time, which comes to $17,497.25. Once again, the board meets tomorrow at 8 a.m. Personnel on the agenda. WIFLFM will be at the meeting, have a detail during the high school football game during our pregame show at 7 p.m. Once again, the board has a call meeting tomorrow at 8 a.m. to discuss personnel. Today in courtroom C, that 11-year-old juvenile faces criminal charges and death of 8-year-old Noah Bush. He'll be in court with his attorney as he faces the following charges, involuntary manslaughter, simple battery, criminal trespassing, and concealing the death of another. WI Phil Fan will have a complete report on today's court hearings on Friday's newscast. Noah Bush's family and attorneys will be in court. Once again, the hearing taking place this morning beginning at 9 a.m. Once again, a full report here tomorrow on Friday's newscast. We'll be back with more news after this word from our sponsor of the commercial messages, so please stay tuned. In other news, reminder, CSX begins maintenance on several railroad tracks beginning today. They state this will include Pine Street, East and West, Cherry Street, Orange Street, Magnolia Street, and Brunswick Street. They state the closings anywhere from two to five days. Railroad crossing on South Brunswick Street will be closed beginning today for up to five days. This road is a one-way in and out to buggy whip subdivision due to it being one way a temporary second entrance has been created they state it'll be off sunset boulevard and there will be detour signs erected to assist drivers again if you have any questions about the closings that's to simply call the county office at 912-427-5900 Wayne county commissioners have a work session prior to their meeting today at 6 p.m the work session gets underway at 4 p.m <clears throat> on the work session agenda, discussion of the possible additional budget items and discussing of the election board in the meeting today at 6 p.m. Again, this is their meeting that was canceled due to the weather forecast this early part of the month. Again, on the agenda, citizens' concerns, Kenny Fuller Street Light placed at Seminole Wood and Shrine Club Road. Public hearing to close and abandon L.J. Anderson Road. Then under new business, EMS Director Patrick Parson on the agenda to consider and approve changes to EMS policy and procedures. Also to consider approved purchase of life pack cardiac monitors. Mitch Sutton with the airport on hand to talk about precision approach path indicator. Then to consider and approve the closing and abandoning of L.J. Anderson Road. Consider and approve bids for Ag Complex concession stand. Consider and approve contract with Heart of Georgia Altima Regional Commission for the services with Wayne County Transit. Consider and approve refunding the Community Development Block Grant. Consider and approve voting delegate for ACCG Legislative Leadership Conference. Vote to set county's millage rate and approve resolution to levy both county and school board's millage. Consider and approve share of vehicle purchase. Consider and approve Lake Race Rental Agreement. Consider and approve resolution for election board. Consider and approve EMS vehicle purchase. Engineer Brandon Purcell will be on hand to consider and approve final plat for Flint Branch Duplex Subdivision. Lamar Echoes on hand consider and approve update on pickleball courts and consider and approve 2025 budget for general fund revolving loan fund and arp once again this meeting taking place today at 6 p.m at the county commissioner's meeting room work session at 4 p.m wi will have a full report tomorrow here on the local news we'll be back with some final news notes after this word from our sponsor of the commercial messages so please stay tuned Final notes and news, Chamber of Commerce has an event coming up September 5th at Coastal Pines Technical College entitled Brew and Build. It's called Creating Success for Your Business One Cup at a Time, tailored for small businesses. The session takes place September 5th at 8.30 a.m. to 10 a.m. Once again at Coastal Pines College. Cost for members is $15, for non-members $30. Chamber asks that you pre-register by August 29th by simply calling the Chamber at 912-427-2028. And Hospice Society George and the local Boys and Girls Club have teamed up to host Wayne County's Got Talent Thursday, August 29th at the Cake Hagel Theater at the high school. Tickets on sale for just $10. You need ticket information, call Kylie McGregor at 912-432-9339. Showtime that evening is 6.30. Doors open at 6. Kylie's on today's Butch and Bob Show with more details. Once again, the date Thursday, August 29th at the Cake Hagel Theater at Wayne County High School. That's going to do it for the latest in local news. Sports comes your way in a few minutes. Bob Morgan saying have a great day.